Yeah. Come on. Get out. Okay. Down right there. Ah. Okay. So, I went to an anime convention. Firing Pidget got cake! The Lorenzo. Hello. Yori, yori, dozi. The set up na tayo ng Logitech. With the everywhere, everywhere. Is that sense? Is that sense? Is that sense? We're fighting against Venti and Kazuha. This man right here. Si Skara mo si na hanap si Tartaglia. Oh, yung ano? Welkin. Hey, Welkin. Welkin. Well, well, how do I start this video? A lot of you don't know, but I am a huge weeb. Not just a weeb, but a huge nerd when it comes to games and anime. And in what better way to expose myself and that nerdiness to all of you than to go to the 2022 Conquest Festival Manila. A convention filled with literally anything about gaming and anime. Pins, stickers, voice actors, clothes, a hego jackets, cosplays, swords, toys, figures, and anything else you could think of. Here we have the beast known as Inosuke in all his glory. Inosuke, when will he stop fighting against Venti and Kazuha? The battle never stops. When will the battle stop? Now I'm gonna tell you this right now, I am not good with vlogging and all of that stuff. This is my first time making a quote-unquote vlog and I only had my phone so yeah that went well. You have multiple meet and greet panels waiting for all kinds of content creators there. YouTubers, VTubers, Twitch streamers, and a lot of other media influencers and entertainers were there as well. But with Conquest Festival Manila, there's just one problem. Everything was about Genshin Impact. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Not everything is about Genshin Impact, of course. But I did find maybe a line of stores where they had 50% of Genshin and then the other 50% was a mix of different games and anime. But that's just me. And there's like Klee. At the very end of this part of SMX Center, you can find voice actors from games and various influencers in their fan booths greeting their fans. And I think they were either signing stuff or merch, but I couldn't go there if I could because the lines were so crazy. It was, I think that was the most packed up place in the entire venue. I also found this booth where they sold a bunch of miniature weapons from Genshin Impact itself. Sadly, I didn't have the budget to get either Staff of Homa or Skyward Atlas. Oh, and VTubers. Finally have VTuber stuff in the Philippines. I love that there are more VTuber stuff being sold here in the Philippines. But in hindsight, this is the first con I've been to in like maybe three or four years. Somewhere along the line, I got to meet other Genshin content creators, namely one Lore Enzo and one Aster, chilling while wearing a Scaramouche cosplay. All I could do at that time was follow them around menacingly and have a bit of banter as well as having a bit of fun around them. Hey, hanging out with the Lorenzo. Hello. Can you Aster? No. With the Aster, we have a Logitech. <laughs> With the Logitech Aster, chill with Aster, the Logitech sponsor. 
Bigal din ata lang to sa ibon. Cannot disclose. Cannot disclose. Tama tama tama. So, so, so sino ka? Sino ka? I am Sino ba? Lorenzo. <laughs> yeah. Pati <laughs> nandito. I took a plane. <laughs> I hijacked the plane. Hijacked the plane. And I oh, crashed way, into this convention. Meeting other lore tubers, especially at an anime con like this, felt like I was just meeting a classmate from school. We just met up and went on our merry way to wherever we had to go. The one difference being, we all made YouTube content. I'm in no position to say but please go to their channel and if you haven't already, support them by watching their content and subscribing to their channel. Behind the scenes, Lorenzo interrogating Genshin cosplayers. Beware of this man. Beware of this man, this man right here, beware, beware! There is way too many Tartaglias, there's one there, there's one there, they're everywhere, everywhere! Nobody can stop the vicious, the ravenous and invasive Lorenzo. victim is Ayato Kamisato no Kamisato Ayato interrogated by the one and only Lorenzo oh look it's soldier Here we are following the YouTuber named Lorenzo and he's coming for his next victim, another Venti Main. Such is the life of Venti Mains. Atakihina lang ng ating Lord Juber, Mr. Lorenzo. Mr. Lorenzo interrogating his people people of Tevat and I am here to follow him make sure that nobody dies in Tevat I Aru Hisaki will make sure this man does not destroy SMX Convention Center <laughs> After stalking Lorenzo for about 10 minutes, we decided to get a drink. You guys know what this is? This is food! This is food, y'all! This is food! Nature's, Nature's spring! Too big! Is there any Gcash? Do you have any Gcash? Yes! Can you have any Gcash? Everything I bought, <clears throat> I bought all my stuff using. Oh god, it's so loud! I bought souvenirs with all my money, and that's it. This is the only thing I could buy right after that. So uh, I'd be dead tomorrow, guys. The deafening sound of the first floor's double stage, double MCs, was enough to make me turn into Venti. But after a few short minutes, we went straight back up to the second floor where all the cosplays and Genshin merch were located. Dude, we've got MTG! Uh, I have not played MTG in so long. There they are. MTG, DND, Kill Team, and... Warhammer 40k 
Not just that, Aru. They also have what I think is either an angry cuckoo demon or what's called a beholder. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. Over there was the cringiest thing I've ever seen. Why? Uh, it had the words world's biggest sheesh on it. The world's biggest what? Sheesh. World's biggest sheesh? Yeah. Oh my god, it's Iron Patriot. Yeah, Y'all just see you, that I've man? I even clipped it too. He's got cake! Iron Patriot got cake! And apparently they also had what was called the world's biggest sheesh. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Me! I have no idea what that- why- why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Conquest Manila, why would you do that? I could be doing anything! Boss! No! Oh my god! No! 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 What has this world become? I, I don't even know what to say, you guys. What? Why? Why they decided to do this? I, I don't know why. But back to what we were doing, apparently a harbinger was nowhere to be seen and just like the Genshin story, another harbinger was sent to find them. But this time for some reason, it was all backwards. Immersion zero. Immersion gone. Si si Taglia. <laughs> oh, how the turntables. Tartaglia. Inanap ka ni Scaramouche. Ah. Scaramouche is gonna return the Gnosis. He wants to go home. In the search of Tartaglia. In his natural habitat. <laughs> After looking the abyss of the SMX Convention Center, we decided that we should just give up. So we found a corner next to an exit and just sat there for the time being. And just before completing our journey through the SMX Convention Center, we were graced upon by the ever so grandiose Wilkin Dady. Welkin lady, please come back. Kailangan ko na nung ano. Is that sense? Is that sense? After about 7 hours of being a complete menace to society, it was time to leave and finally go home. Sadly, I didn't have any footage of our farewells with everyone else, but we can move on to my favorite part of the entire video, showing off what little I could buy with my student budget money. These are basically everything I bought. There. First and foremost, um, where do we start? Um, these um, bookmarks, I guess. Let's start with these bookmarks. So these bookmarks right here, this is Gojo. Say hey, say hi to Gojo. Say hi to Bao the Whale. Say hi to Millie. And I forgot this guy's name. It's somebody, somebody wanted me to buy this one. How could you forget that that is Tsukishima from Haikyuu? The fun thing about these um, bookmarks, right? I don't want to open it because th these are for someone else actually. I bought a lot of them for a lot of people. Um, is that they close and once they close they you can see this one right here and then behind is their like leg <laughs> their leg is like hanging on the side like one of them um, people that hangs on the side of whatever I'll show you a picture of what that looks like it's basically somebody who hit a fence and um, hit their body on the fence and there look at that that one and there we go same goes for Millie Parfait. There you go. There she is. That one. Next is... I forgot this guy's name. Oh no. I don't know if the phone can pick up what I'm trying to say here. So I'm using both the phone and my um, actual mic. So um, I'll, I'm just going to change that once it comes. Next is these little things. Um, this is a spaghetti meal, spaghetti from Jollibee, I presume. Lumpiang Shanghai, made by Paimon herself. There we go, Lumpiang Shanghai. If you guys know, don't know what Lumpiang Shanghai means, they're basically spring rolls, the glorified spring rolls of the Philippines. Some waffles, waffles, they're, they're, they're just stickers. And a cinnamon roll, look at that, cinnamon roll, awesome cinnamon roll. Some toast. This isn't, this isn't even toast. Um, I'm, I'm gonna call this um, sweet bread with egg. That is the most original name I could think of after waking up 
at 7 a.m. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. And a sticker of the uh, person who sold it. It's a free sticker, actually. Heart check what? Heartcheekscard.co. There we go. That's the person who sold these um, stickers. So uh, go check them out on uh, Facebook. And we also have these. Um, what are these called? Pot pot stickers. I forgot what they're called. They're the resurrection things that you eat, along with um, Paimon's face. Can that focus, please? Very good. Okay, that's gonna have to work. And some dangos. Come on, focus, please. Hello? Can you focus? Or oh, whatever. But yeah, that's Paimon. And uh, we have Halo Halo. Look at this. Halo Halo. We bought off. Oh. Oh. Halo Halo, but the ingredients aren't mixed yet, along with Paimon's head. Everything here has Paimon's head, actually. And then this is um, a chicken roast. The uh, sweet madam, as you would call it, from Genshin. Of course, who wouldn't want to go eat some food without some isao you guys know what these are these are the small intestines of um, a human i don't know why i bought that and these are the lungs of a human i don't know why i bought that either um, <laughs> next let's go to these little things it's called the potato butts and the oh god there we go that's as far as i could go without um ruining the camera this is the potato butt keychain that uh yeah you guys can see that right this thing here we'll talk about that later this is the potato butt keychain that um i just bought because of the potato butt look at that potato butt potato butt we'll talk about this guy too in a bit this guy um what's his name and then we go into this thing you guys know what these are these are um Cookies. These are actually food, by the way, from the con. If you can, if you guys could find that. This this other one right here is the uh, <laughs> electro version, but uh, it kind of got struck by lightning on the way out. Okay, no, not Geo. Let's go with electro. Wonder, wonder how that tastes like. Give me, give me a second. I'm here. All right, here we go. This is a half of the electro cookie. Let's get it. No, no. Oh God, get it. Okay. How do I describe this? Um, it's not for me, because <laughs> I don't like sweet food. <laughs> I'd much rather that is overpowering as heck. These things are <clears throat> way too sweet for me. Okay, if you guys are into sweet stuff, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this, but uh, me, I don't like it. Next is this um, You Died sticker from um, Bloodborne. I'm pretty sure this is from Bloodborne. But uh, it's, um, what are you, what are this, what's this called? Um, it's a pixelated version of You Died. And then these, um, uh, it's stickers of people's faces, right? Anybody who doesn't love faces? You've got Hu Tao. Hu Tao's face right there. And then Ito. You've got Ito's face. And Raiden. Raiden Shogun or A. You've got big cheeks. Look at the big cheeks. And Yai also has big cheeks. Look at these cheeks. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have a cold. Trying to speak like this and it's so hot. Okay, we also have, um, no, we're gonna skip all the way here. You guys see these visions? Look at that vision. This is a vision from Sneznaya or Fatui, whatever you want to call it. So if you get a vision and you're from Sneznaya, yeah, just put that back where it belongs. There we go. Look at that. Look at how awesome that is! I've got an electro, no electro. <laughs> I've got a pyro vision from Sneznaya. I couldn't find a Fatui vision, the one with the square, um, starry-looking thing, with a bunch of stuff on it. But uh, if this is what a Sneznaya vision looks like, then I, I'm all for it. Look at that! I got a pyro one and a hydro vision. I didn't want to have just a single element. But uh, I like Hydro and Pyro just because they have Vape and Reverse Vape along with some really good healing characters as well. And, uh, I like how they both work. Very nice. There you go. And then this one is somebody else's. This is a... Um, what are these called? An Inazuma Geovision. There you go. An Inazuma Geovision. I don't want to open it yet because somebody else is going to open this. This is not mine. And finally, what else do we have? We've got um, this guy, a K-pop person that somebody asked me to buy along with these other things that are K-pop. 
Um, You've got oh, who is this? This is G Min. Oh fuck. This is V. This is V. And then this is Jin. Jin. Oh, anybody <laughs> who watches K-pop here, please help me. Who are these people? I I've listened to their songs. My phone's gonna run out of space. Okay, this other guy. What's his name? Bui. No, <laughs> I don't know. And uh, yet to come, BTS this is another BTS guy, another K-pop guy. You've got J-Hope, my boy J-Hope, and oh fuck. And okay, <laughs> you've also got Suga, Suga, the boy is Suga, and uh, RM. That's that's basically it. Everything here, that's that's all I bought. Some stickers, not even Genshin stickers. I bought food stickers. Um, these things, bookmarks. I really like books. Where's the other book? Oh, there he is. Okay. So Gojo, Bao, Millie, and this guy. Forgot his name. And some visions, some characters from Genshin. Um, a You Died sticker. Yeah, I didn't buy any figures because uh, there weren't any figures. <laughs> Believe it or not, there actually weren't um, figures in a anime convention. Um, actually, Aru, there was one booth that you saw, and you just didn't record it. Do not lie to me, Aru. You know you saw that booth. What are you talking about? Because the thing is, everything that you can see there is Genshin. Right? Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, because uh, there were a lot of people there, so I could not um, go to every store and every <laughs> nook and cranny of the whole place, because, oh my gosh, it was loaded with so many people. Holy crap. Since I couldn't find any Genshin figures or whatever anime figure I wanted to buy. I wanted to buy friggin Arknights figures. You know that? I wanted to buy Arknights, not even Genshin. So I had no choice. No, <laughs> just kidding. I really like these either way. But uh, yeah, if I could pick other stuff, I would have bought other stuff. Like say Monster Hunter. If there was Monster Hunter, I would have bought like Monster Hunter through and through. I really like Monster Hunter. But since there were only literally Genshin stuff there, you could see like a million Genshin stickers, a million Genshin pins, a million uh, visions, a million, uh, millions and millions bookmarks. Genshin bookmarks too were there. Um, Keychains that were Genshin, they were everywhere. They were everywhere, everywhere. I am, I swear to you guys, I am not lying. That convention, conquest convention, was filled with just literally Genshin. The only thing that wasn't Genshin was like this one booth. Uh, this this one booth that was selling um, non Genshin stuff and they, they were literally the only variation type of booth there they had like Warhammer pins and uh, what like Harry Potter pins oh my gosh it was crazy that was all I could buy and then this them and then this one booth here this one booth that sold only um, these things right here uh, K-pop stuff and a lot of people were buying K-pop stuff because she was the only one who had K-pop stuff. Everything else was just this. Genshin, 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 Genshin. This one's cool though. They were selling um, <laughs> food stickers. They were selling Jollibee spaghetti. I don't know if that's copyright but uh, yeah, Jollibee spaghetti. And my favorite food, Lumpiang Shanghai. And um, some innards. <laughs> I don't know why. I bought innards. Yeah, we bought innards. I got this from a lady who was um, cosplaying as the Welkin person. You guys know who the Welkin lady is, right? She's a lady with a staff. I, if you guys were there, you'd, you would have seen it. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of me and the Welkin lady and um, us seeing the Welkin lady as well while we were um, resting our butts and legs from walking too much. Yeah, but that's basically all the stuff I bought. You've got those things right there, the bookmarks, the stickers, this food thing, more stickers, but these are Genshin stickers, and um, three visions, and K-pop stuff. There we go, that's it. That's all I bought. Uh, yeah, that's for the stuff that I bought. Um, buy yourselves a Fatui vision, please. I want to see more people buying Fatui visions. Let's support the Fatui, support the Saritsa. We are not part of Celestia, alright? Do not support Celestia. Uh, join, join the, <laughs> join the rebellion, join the rebellion, please, please. <laughs>